friends, it's Kaylee Bird. Welcome back to my studio. You know I'm always thrilled to have you. So today I have a little painting demo for you. I did this tiny piece, Orchida, not too long ago. And of course I do my painting and then I do the resin layer pouring and then I do adding of three dimensional objects and all that. So I'm gonna show you how I did all that today. If you're curious how I got this lovely skin tone, check around for links because I have a melanin rich skin tone mixing tutorial. As well as I recently did a resin pour tutorial. So I know you guys have been asking me how am I doing these paintings? Well now I made a tutorial so you can attempt them as well. So I hope you learn a little something. Please hit that subscribe button if you do. It really helps me grow my channel and it makes sure that you come back over and over and over again. Thank you guys for being here. Enjoy! So today I actually included the drawing, which I normally don't do, but this one went down pretty quickly and easily. If you'd like any tips on how to improve your drawing for painting, check around for links because I've got a video on three simple ways to make it look great. Orkita was a fun one to paint for a number of reasons. One being the fact that it was small enough I could actually complete the whole portrait in one go, which is rare for me. I decided I wanted to recreate an earlier video that I had done about how to mix melanin-rich skin tones, so I used this portrait as a jump start to create that video. Plus, I had some very delicate features. You'll see later, but I'm gonna actually add in some real fake eyelashes and some lace. So I wanted to see how those would fare pouring resin, as well as another little experiment. I'm going to be trying to connect the orchid on the top layer with the bottom layer via painting the stem in the middle layer. I wanna to try to see if I can continue one painted object throughout the layers of my acrylic resin to bring it to Although this painting is a small one, it's actually going to be teaching me a whole lot. So you will see in a second that I actually add the beginning of the stem of the orchid into the corner of her mouth. I wish I would have thought to film it, but on the subsequent layer of resin, I actually add a dash more paint to bring the stem forward a little bit. And then during the third application of resin, my hope is that the stem will look like it is actually connecting to the underneath of the orchid. I think this is actually the first orchid I've ever painted. I can't recall another one. I actually found this reference as I was hiking. I love so much that every once in a while you'll be going through the lush green tropical forests out here on Oahu and you'll just come upon a beautiful little cluster of orchids dangling from a random tree. What a fun little surprise. Once the painting was completely dried, cured, and then sealed, I went ahead and added some of these 3D features, such as fake eyelashes and some lace around her face. Now try and notice as I'm pouring that I'm using a tiny little stream of resin and I actually go up underneath and then around the delicate lace features as well as the eyelashes. 
This is much better than just simply dumping on top of such fragile little pieces because this way they stay suspended rather than getting smashed. Then you've got to bust out the heat gun to get all those bubbles out. If you're curious about pouring resin, check around for links. I have a video detailing your process. I wound up doing three resin layers in Orchida. As you can see, I added some sparkles towards the end just to kind of give her orchid a little bit of a flare. This was a fun one, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching the process. If you ever have questions about your own art making, don't forget I'm available for art mentoring via webcam. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.